Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and I'm very excited today. We're taking a look at Espressivo from Sonic Kinetic. Now, this exciting new phrase-based orchestral library from Sonic Kinetic downloads as a little over 21 gigabytes. It's made up of uh, just two main NKIs. You got 16-bit and 24-bit. Uh, both have a uh, light versions. Library was created recording uh, four orchestral sections. You got a string section of 60 players, uh, woodwinds of 19 players, a brass section of 22 players, and three percussionists. The library is a uh, complete control compatible. So those with uh, native instruments, complete control libraries will be able to take advantage of that. Library is a contact player instrument, meaning it's compatible with both, both the full and free version of Native Instruments Contact, and it loads right into your Libraries tab. Library normally sells for €249.90. It's important to note that there's discounts for owners of previous Sonokinetic libraries, so be sure to sign into your account over on Sonokinetic's website to see what your price would be for purchasing the library. Libraries made up of some spectacular phrases in the style of uh, Bernard Herrmann or Jerry Goldsmith. Uh, scores that are very filmic. It contains a collection of dissonant strings, stabbing brass sections skittering percussion and aleatoric woodwinds. All of the uh, recordings here were done at 130 BPM, but because of the way Sonic Kinetic has programmed this, you're able to play back them with some very believable changes in tempo because of the time sync and stretching that's applied in the back of the engine. As you can see, the interface is uh, kind of similar to Sonic Kinetic's other phrase-based orchestral libraries like Grosso, Maximo, Capriccio, and Soto, but there's a few big differences here. The first being that all of these sections are accessible from one NKI, and with four different presets that load up, those are divided amongst the four different octaves of instruments across the bottom of the keyboard. Each of the sections has three phrases assigned in each preset. It looks like playing through them, they typically load up with a low, mid, and high sample playback. Each section, uh, you can choose um, from a number of categories here with uh, the different phrases. And at any time, you can randomly load up into all of the presets by clicking the O in the Espressivo. Now, one thing that I'm a big fan of with the way that the library is set up is you can change quite a bit of controls. Uh, for instance, you control volume via the mod wheel. Or choose to selectively control samples with the mod wheel. The 
controls also give you sliders for volume, pan, uh, tuning, and a fade effect, which can be pretty neat way to bring in uh, different layers. And you also have an adjustment for the volume of the tail and one of my very favorite things about the Sonokinetic Kinetic Phrase Libraries, the ability to check out the actual score for the part you're playing back, but also as an educational tool um, or a way to uh, advance or program other multi-sampled instruments so they can play along or off of what your sample playback is like. Now, each of the instruments can play back either with the original tempo, double speed, or half speed that all sync to your DAW. And as you can hear there, that is where you start to hear some of the degradation and the limits of the phrase sample stretching and tempo changing there. It was recorded, like I said at the beginning, at 130 BPM. And although it does have some range in going from uh, a little slower or a little faster, once you cut it in half, you really do get some artifacts. You've got a couple other controls with the outer rings to select your uh, microphone positions, uh, four different microphone positions, and you can um, blend two positions together here. You're, that's one of the limitations uh, as far as sample playback. Those light instruments that I mentioned up at the beginning, those patches contain pre-mixed sample playback, so you can really shrink your footprint but get a nice mix of microphone samples. The inner circle gives you a quick way to control all of those uh, adjustments when we were looking at the main presets. Handy way to adjust the uh, last sample that you played quickly. Now, as with all of uh, Sonic Kinetic's other libraries, there's a interactive help menu up in the corner of the eye. And another uh, big benefit here that I think is important to mention is Sonic Kinetic has a very well-documented technical overview on the official Espresso page. Really digs in and tells you everything that you would need to know how to use with the library. Now, this isn't meant to be a complete walkthrough here. There are some great documentation, just like I mentioned here with the technical uh, documents and the videos. I'll be sure to include those on the Sample Library Review Espresso page in the link in the description below. Now, on the pros here, I think that this sounds fantastic. It's a beautifully orchestrated. The ability to manipulate them inside the engine is really great. Um, and these are the kinds of performances that are impossible to pull off with multi-sampled libraries. So I really commend Sonic Kinetic for not only dreaming this up, but executing it so well. Another pro, which I did mention already, was this uh, manual, the quick start guide and the information tab. Very easy to dig in and learn the differences. On the cons, the big thing that jumped out for me is there's no key switch tune shifting. and what I mean by that is if I need to adjust tuning, I only have a certain range that I can really adjust in. Uh, it also makes it uh, difficult to change the tuning because you need to assign it to a MIDI CC and then adjust it accordingly uh, instead of the way that Sonic Kinetic had done with their previous libraries is to have some kind of tune and shift key switch function, which uh, really adjusted the playback route. And uh, I think that maybe it's a limit of the sample set as to uh, the inability to really jump up or down too far to really be able to give you that playback. So that would have been something I really would have liked to have seen there. Other than that, I'm pretty thrilled with the sound and I think that if you can approach this and really get to know the library, um, you can do some fantastic things with it. Like I said, it's so true to form to some of, you know, my favorite composers, Bernard Herman, Jerry Goldsmith, some of the stuff they've done for filmic score, filmic music. 
and uh, I think it could add a lot to just about any composer's palette. Thanks so much for watching the video. What are your thoughts here? Have you been using uh, Sonic Kinetic's other libraries? Is Espressivo the kind of library that you're excited about? Love to hear your thoughts. Please comment in the description below. Like, share, and subscribe. We'd love your support. Be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com and make it part of your day to see what the latest news and reviews posts are over at the website.